Good morning or evening, afternoon, wherever you are watching this video, folks. My name is Chris and it is such a pleasure to be on your phone, iPad, or computer. I live in Munich, Germany. For those who do not know me, there's a kid screaming over here. We're in the park. We're doing a staycation video today. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, my name is Chris and I live in Munich, Germany, and I am an expat. I've been here for one and a half year. I guess that's perfectly, I don't, sorry, my English is crazy right now. Yeah, I've been here for one and a half years and I think, uh, yeah, I like it so far. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take a video today. It's freezing and we're just gonna show you what it's like to be in Munich in the winter. Michael Jackson would be so proud of me. I basically just want to make this video to give you guys a little bit of an update on life. I just haven't had anything to say in regards to all the craziness that is going on on planet Earth. We have Donald Trump refusing to leave the White House. We have coronavirus. We have people around the United States basically trying to take over the country. Like, I don't even know what to say. So I have just been trying to sit in the cold and just digest life you know what i mean i really have been feeling out of order recently guys and i don't know so i've been, like i said i've been living in munich for about a year and i barely had the chance to like get to know the city like look at this park that i'm in i'll write the name of the park right here by the way so you guys can see <laughs> later but like i said i literally haven't had the chance to come out to just get to know the city that I live in. I just feel like I've been so focused on getting rooted in the city with paperwork, trying to find a job, and like Aufenthaltserlaubnis, troublesome, you know, processes and stuff. Like, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Those that are preparing to move to Germany, get ready for that because, like, like there's something that needs to be done about the Kafa R. Like, I can make a whole video on the Kafa R, guys. Like, literally, <laughs> how to get a visa, how long it takes to get an appointment to get a visa, and how to deal with the people that are in the office. This video is getting, again, off topic. Uh, like, I just feel like such a loser right now because <laughs> I'm literally in the middle of a park talking to a phone in English in Germany. But hey, it's YouTube. So, um, yeah, so everything is okay, I guess. Check in on me, guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, I just feel like a bit overwhelmed with the situation right now. Like life, you know, I can't go back to America in this moment as easily as I would like to. And, uh, but yeah, the people are sledding. And as I said, this is a staycation video. So look at the people sledding, it's nice. I don't have a sled. I have literally haven't sledded in like 12 years, but maybe I can just go and run and slide or something. Let me go see. Didn't work for me. Didn't want to fall down. Didn't work for me, but it's okay. Okay, by the way, okay, so like I said, this is, I'm doing tourism here. This is a wonderful museum that I have never visited in the whole year that I have lived in the city. However, I do know what is inside. So basically, uh, it's just a development of the transportation system, like the öffentliche Verkehrsmittel, basically. Beginning of when they had subways all the way up until now, which are the very subways that I ride every day to get to work, to visit friends, X, Y, Z. I'm gonna try to get close and take a picture. And yes, I'll see you in like two seconds. I wasn't lying to you. <laughs> they have all these uh, cars and stuff in there. And for those that are interested in this type of tourism, I'm pretty sure you'll find this place very nice. And actually a lot of the trams and subways still look like this. So yeah, you can come and see it if you like this type of tourism. of the endless stairs and I promise you this is literally the first time that I am visiting it. Unfortunately it is locked off. I think it's because of winter and also because of corona but normally I think you can go up 
and you go all around. It's quite romantic. So if you have a bay, if you have a bay, what you could possibly do is have they bring you here. You could go all the way up, all the way up to the stairs and say, hey, like you meet them and then you can ask them to marry you. That would be really romantic. Hint, hint, future bay. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going into the city. I'm going to <laughs> take a video of the Chinese food that I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go pick up some Chinese food. I'm gonna make a video soon about the best Chinese food in Munich, I swear. Because Chinese, like literally, there's a, a, a bunch of Chinese food here. It's absolutely amazing. Totally worth your trip. Totally worth your patience if you come here. Totally worth the visit, so yeah. such a fan of uh, public transport. It's fast, it's effective, and it's what the Germans would call Umweltfreundlich, which is environmentally friendly. This place here is a recommendation of mine. Uh, I love this place, it's really good. They have really good food. You know, I love China, so I kind of want to do it like an exchange with China and Germany. Lodu is amazing, as I said before. Really good Jianbing food. And the people who have lived in China before that are watching this video, you're automatically gonna know what Jianbings are. We've all eaten them. For those that want to try them, as I said, this is a good restaurant. So basically he's taking the dough and he puts it on the heater. Oh, this is bringing me back to my childhood, like adulthood basically in China. Next he adds the egg. Then he mixes up the egg. Then he adds onions. I don't know what this is, green pepper, green slices of something. Anyway, yes, and then peppers. <laughs> okay, so picked up some food from, and coffee actually from Starbucks, and I'm gonna prepare to get on the train and go home. I will catch up with you guys in just a bit. Okay, so this is the Jim Bing. Here it is, it's done. You see the eggs, and obviously I have the meat in it. I didn't film the meat because, yeah, I didn't, but yep, the meat is inside, and then we have dumplings, beautiful, as well as some lovely pasta or yeah mian tiao. so yeah this is a really good place to visit when you are here in munich it's in Kajplatz. it's right in the subway station it's very quick very easy great street chinese food okay guys so i hope that you like that small update with me you know like i said just life has been crazy with uh, the political situation in my home country as well as corona and i just feel quite stranded sometimes but and for those of us that are kind of stuck or in like a little bit of a what's it called, a hard place right now with Corona. I've learned uh, this phrase somewhere that I saw on Instagram. It said, our self-worth does not equate to our productivity. And sometimes it's okay to just exist. And I'm living by that, I'm just existing, trying not to be too mentally involved in everything that's going on, things that are out of my control, and just focusing on the present because there are a lot of things, good things going on. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you for watching, ciao.